Hello, everyone. Welcome to your micro former workout. You will need your bars at the front. No cables needed. We are going to get started right in our obliques today. So one block spring, or you could go zero springs harder. We're going to be starting in a teaser off of your bar. So right foot over left foot on the carriage, hands on those top bars. Teaser, ready three, ready two, let's do it. So inhale, you take those straight legs out, and then exhale, push down through the heels of your hands and pipe the hips up. Your right foot is over your left foot, shoulders are square to the front. Good, get into those obliques first. Sides of the feet, try not to bring your feet in all the way. Good. Let's go 30 seconds and you're gonna hold your legs out. And we're just gonna try for a little pulse. In 10. Legs go out, we go for that pipe pulse. <clears throat> In five, four, three, two, hold your legs out. And now pulse that pipe. Up a little, out a little, good. Up a little, out a little. You got 20 seconds, right elbow comes down. I want you to keep your right foot over your left foot, but you're gonna be on your tippy toes for like a side plank, knees in, knees out situation. We're there in four, three, two, awesome. So keep your feet crossed, right over left. Bring your right elbow down to the platform. Put your left hand on that bar. And now bend your knees in towards your chest and then kick your legs out. So my right elbow is down, my right foot is in front of the left foot. And I'm sort of piking my hips up a little bit as I bend my knees in and kick my legs out. Good, really pushing down with the heel of my left hand on that bar, taking some pressure off of my right shoulder. Let's go 30 seconds here. Both hands on the front platform. Left knee on top of right knee. We've got a twisted cobra. Then we're gonna go into some center core. And then we'll hit that left oblique. In 10, you're gonna have your hands together on the front edge of that platform. Left knee on top of right knee in four, three, two, let's do it. So you've got your hands on the front top end here, left knee on top of right knee. Now, as you shift back, both elbows drop down to that platform. As you shift forward, both elbows lift. Really thinking in to that right waist, left knee on top of right knee, hinge back, both elbows lower, and then hinge forward, both elbows lift. Good. You got 60 seconds here with this. And then we're gonna do some elbow bear, elbow saw, bear, wheel, elbow bear, elbow saw, intervals. Good, everybody. Getting a little tricep work here too with this cobra. Give me 30 seconds. Elbows come down. Toes replace the knees. We're going for an elbow bear. We're there in 10. Nice and slow, hips and butt stay still. Elbows and toes in four, three, two. Okay, center core now, guys. So elbows down, toes up. Just a 45 second bear on the elbows. Ready, go. So bend your knees in underneath of those hips. And then kick your 
your legs out to straight legs. Elbow bear. Slightly lifting those hips as you bend your knees in. And then drop the hips as the legs kick out. Let's go 20 seconds. Elbows stay down, knees come down. We're going for a 45 second saw on the elbows and knees. Good, we're there in eight. Elbows down, knees down in four, three, two, let's do it. Elbows and knees, drop the hips, drop the butt, tuck that tailbone. And now just the shoulders shift back, just the shoulders shift forward. Good, shoulders go behind the elbows and then over the elbows. 25 seconds, we're gonna do same thing we just did, but on our hands. So we're gonna go bare on the hands and then wheel back around. Then we'll do it again on the elbows. Then we're gonna go into your left oblique. In eight, hands come up. In four, three, two, hands up, toes up. Give me that bear, ready? Three, two, let's do it. So bend your knees in underneath of your hips. Kick your legs out straight. Good, 30 seconds. That's it, in 15, knees come down, hands stay up. You're gonna give me that classic wheel. Nice, everybody, we're there in five. Knees down, hands stay up in four, three, Two, let's do it. Knees down, hands up. Just the shoulder shift back. And then just the shoulder shift forward. Really pull your belly button up and into spine. Twenty seconds. We're gonna go back to that elbow bear, and then back to the elbow soft. Then we're gonna go into that left oblique. Then we'll hit your left leg, some more center core, your right leg, and then we'll save arms for last. In three, two, let's do it. Elbows down, toes up, ready, go for that bear on the elbows. In three, two, let's do it. Exhale, bend the knees in. And then inhale, kick those legs out. Twenty five seconds, we come down to the knees, stay on your elbows. We've got that saw. In 10, elbows and knees, you've got that side. In four, three, two, let's do it. Elbows and knees, and now saw your shoulders back, and then saw forward. Nice, everybody, let's go 30 seconds. We're going teaser on that left side. Hands on the top bars. Left foot over, right foot. We're there in eight. Hands come up in six. Five, four, three, two, let's do it. Hands up, left foot over the right foot this time. Ready, three, square the shoulders to the front. In two, let's do it. Inhale, take those straight legs out. Exhale, push down through the heels of your hands, pike your hips up. Good, inhale, take it out. Exhale. 
exhale, pipe it up. Try not to bring the feet in all the way. Keep a nice amount of space between the carriage and the platform. Let's go 30 seconds. And then your legs are gonna go out, they're gonna stay out. And we're just gonna pulse the teaser. We're there in 20. Good, everybody, in 10. Legs go out in five, four, three, two. Now, give me tiny pulses. Up a little, out a little. You got it. 20 seconds, left elbow drops down. Keep your left foot over your right foot. Just come up onto the tippy toes. You've got that side plank bending in and out of the knees. We're there in five, good, in four, three, two, let's do it. So left elbow down, have the left foot over the right foot still, and come up to your tippy toes a little bit, and now bend your knees in, kick your legs out. Good, you can put that right hand on the bar in front of you to take pressure off the shoulder, Feel that slight pinch in your left waist as you bend the knees in and kick the legs out. 40 seconds, we're going for that twisted cobra. You got it, everybody. In 30, right knee stacks on top of the left knee, hands to the sides of your front platform. We're there in 10. Nice, everyone. Last five, four, three, two. Let's do it. Last thing on the obliques. Stack the right knee on top of the left knee, hands together on the front edge of the platform. Ready, go. As you hinge back, into the twisted wheel. Both elbows start to lower. And then as you hinge forward, both elbows lift. Good, so hinge back, both elbows lower. And then hinge forward, both elbows lift up. Good, let's go 60 seconds. We're gonna start that left leg in an escalator lunge. Then we're gonna do a little pistol lunge. And then we're gonna do a curtsy escalator lunge. And then another pistol lunge. Then we're gonna do a side lunge facing out on the floor. And then go to the back for a side lunge facing out on the floor as well, okay? So there's a little pattern to your legs. We're in each move for two minutes. We're gonna start with that escalator lunge. So left foot is gonna be on the carriage, right foot is gonna be where your hands are on this platform. We're there at 15, keeping that one black or you can go zero springs harder. In eight. Good, everybody, in six. Five, four, three, two, Let's do it. Escalator lunge, left side first. Standing up on your front platform, facing the back, left foot forward on the carriage, right heel is high on the platform. Ready? All the way down, all the way up. Let's do it. Not a lot of variations in your legs today. It's a lot of full range of motion because we have more leg moves and less time in them. So we're not doing a ton of variations. We'll save the variations for like the last 30 seconds on most things. Just really ground down through that left foot as you slide up. And then come on down. Now in 60 seconds, we're going for that moonwalker. Then we're gonna hit our first set of pistol lunge. 
We're gonna try to do it with your foot on the platform today instead of on the floor. Good, give me 30 seconds. We'll hold it at the bottom and we'll bend your right knee in and kick your right leg out for that moonwalker. So the action comes from that back knee. We're there in eight. Super slow in the meantime. In four, three, Two, now hold it at the bottom. And now bend your back right knee in to bring the carriage in. And then kick the back right leg out to take it out. Perfect. Front left leg is just frozen. 20 seconds, you're gonna put your left foot on the front platform. Right tippy toes or the heel goes out on the edge of the carriage. You just wanna make sure that you're working left leg foot is on the platform for that pistol squat, pistol lunge in four, three, two, awesome. Step your left foot back onto the platform, okay? Ground down to that left foot. Right foot is out on the carriage. Now you're gonna come all the way down into that pistol, booty back and down, and then slide up. After you do that first one, you might need to move your feet around. You'll know what you need to do, right? Booty goes back and down. You bend the left leg and then you straighten the left leg for that pistol. All the way down, really sink the weight back into that left foot and then all the way up. Good. Left toes that are on the platform are pointing straight forward. Set your weight back like you're trying to Sit into chair pose almost. There you go. And try not to stand up all the way on that left side. Good, all the way down, sink down, all the way up. Now in 30 seconds, we're gonna hold it down. We're gonna go for carriage kicks. So that right knee is gonna bend in. Right leg is gonna kick out. Keep all the weight back into that left foot. Good, everybody. We're down in 10. Carriage kicks. In five, four, three, two. Hold it down. Now bend your right knee in. And then kick your right leg out. Good, really sitting your booty back and down into that invisible chair. Bend the right knee and kick the right leg out. Let's go 20 seconds. Then we're gonna go for a curtsy escalator. So back to the escalator, but your left foot's gonna be over to the right. Back right foot over to the left. Good, sit a little lower. We're there in five, four, three, two, awesome. So left foot to the right. And then your back right foot behind you goes over to the left. Pull that right hip forward, left hip back, left toes point straight ahead. You're in that crisscross. And now slide down. Inside of the left foot pushes down into the carriage as you slide up. So even though you're crisscross applesauce, really ground down to the inside of your left foot. Sixty seconds away from your curtsy moonwalker. Nice, everybody. Give me thirty seconds. Right knee will bend in, right leg will kick out. 
because of the nature of how your feet are, the right knee is going to bend into the left knee's pit. We're there in eight. Curtsy moon in six, five, four, three, two, hold it down. Now bend your right knee into your left knee pit and then kick your right leg out. Good work. Now your left foot is gonna go on that front platform again. Right foot on the edge of the carriage. We're going back to that pistol. This time we're gonna add a carriage kick to your full range of motion. We're there in four. So adding a carriage kick in this time in three, two, let's do it. So step your left foot back, have your right foot out, and now slide it down. When you're down here, bend the right knee in. Kick the right leg out. And then slide it up. Good. So adding in that carriage kick. All the way down. Bend the right knee in. Good. Kick the right leg out. And then slide it up. Try not to come up all the way or it's going to feel funny for your left hip, right? Booty down, bend the right knee in, kick the right leg out, and then slide it up. You got it. Let's go 45 seconds and we're just going to hold it at the bottom and go for these carriage kicks. And then we're gonna step over to the left side of your machine. I'm gonna be facing away from you. We're gonna go for a floor side lunge. Amazing, everybody. Find that left foot real grounded into that platform so you don't lose your balance. In 10. Good, at the bottom, just the carriage kicks. In five, four, three, two, hold it down. If you want peace sign fingers on the bars, do it. But lift your chest up, bend your right knee and kick your right leg out. Yes, your left foot is gonna be sort of in line with your front platform. Right foot somewhere on the carriage. You're gonna be left on the floor, Maybe right heel down in the eye that's closest to the springs. Toes up. However you want to go about that side lunge in four. Good. In three, two. Awesome. Make sure you're on zero springs for this one too. Okay. So right foot on the edge of the carriage. Left foot out in front. Slightly staggered. Left foot is ahead of the right foot. And now go for that side lunge. Booty goes back and down over the machine behind you. And then you slide it up. You're in that staggered stance. So my left foot is ahead of my right foot. All the way down. All the way up. Lean in to that working left leg for me. Good. Give me 30 seconds here, then we're gonna hold it down. We're gonna do some carriage kicks. Right knee bends in, right leg kicks out. We're there in 20. Then we're going to do this same side lunge, but you're going to be at the back of your machine. So all else, I'll be facing out towards you. And when we're at the back, we're all going to make sure that we're on one black spring, okay? In eight, get me in that hold. Go for your carriage kick in four, three, two. Hold it down, chest up. Now bend your right knee in. Kick the right leg out. Yes. 20 seconds, make sure you're on one black. Left foot on the floor to the right of your back platform. Right foot hooks in the rail. 
We've got that reverse side lunge. This is your last two minutes of your left leg. We're there in five. Sit a little lower, kick a little slower in four, three, two. Awesome, friends. Woo. All right. Make sure you're on one lap. You're going to take your carriage with your right foot here. No easy way to get set up for this one. Left foot goes in front of your back platform, right tippy toes, maybe hooked in the eye leg, okay? Now, send all the weight back and down over that platform, and then push down through that left foot to come up. Good, and then if you need to adjust your feet, step your left foot out a little bit, you can. Awesome, everybody. 60 seconds and we hold and we pulse to finish this one. We're not gonna carriage kick back here. It's a little awkward because of the pulling of the spring. I know, like I said, not a ton of variations today, a lot of full range, just really working on going slow in our full range of motion stuff. It's always good work. Then we're gonna go into another like four and a half minute section of center core. And then we'll hit your right leg and then we'll finish in your upper body. In 20, you're gonna hold it at the bottom and then we're gonna finish in that pulse. In 15. Good, everybody. Last 30 seconds of your left leg in four, three, two, hold it at the bottom, booty back and down, even out the hips. Good work. Now in four, you got little pulses. Three, two, pulse it up a little down. Good. So we're going to do the same core section that we did at the front earlier, but now we're going to do it at the back. In eight, I want elbows on the back platform, feet on the carriage, elbow bear in four, three, two, awesome. Awesome job, everybody. All right. So elbows on the back platform, feet on the carriage, elbow bear. Ready, friends, in three, two, let's do it. It's 45 seconds, bend the knees in, and kick the legs out. And then we'll do a 45 second saw, and we'll do the same thing on the hands, and then the same thing again on the elbows. In 20, knees come down, elbows stay down. You've got a saw. In 10, nice. In five, Four, three, two, let's go. Elbows and knees, tuck that tail. Just the shoulder shift back, just the shoulder shift forward. Good. Thirty seconds, we're gonna do the same thing on our hands. You got a bear on your hands, wheelbarrow. We're up in five, four, three, two, hands up, toes up, ready, there. Bending those knees in, kicking the legs up. Let's go 15 seconds, hands stay up, knees come down. You got your wheelbarrow in 10. Five, 
four, three, two, let's go. Knees down, hands up. And now just the shoulders shift back. And then just the shoulders shift forward. Thirty seconds. We're back to the elbow bear, and then back to the elbow saw. And then we'll head into that right leg. In five, elbows and toes. In four, three, two. Awesome, so elbows down, toes up. Ready guys, three, two, let's do it. So bend your knees in, kick your legs out. Abs are almost done, let's go 30 seconds. You bring your knees down, you go for your saw. Good, everybody. In 10. Elbows down, knees down. You've got your final 45 seconds of center core right here. In five, four, three, two. Woo. All right, elbows and knees ready. Saw back, saw forward. Let's do it. 45 seconds. Then we're going to come to the front, face the back. In order, we're going to go right leg first for that escalator. Then we'll do your pistol, curtsy escalator, pistol, floor side lunge, at the back side lunge, and we'll finish in about six minutes of arms. Good. Making sure you're on one block or zero springs at the front is harder. We're there in eight. Good, everybody. In four, three, two. Awesome. All right. Make sure you're on one block or zero springs harder, whatever you did to the other leg. Right foot out, left foot back. Ready? Three. Left heel is high. In two. Let's go. Slide down into your escalator lunge. And then push down through that left foot, slide it up. Good, you've got that back heel lifted, front right foot heavy. Since we're doing a lot of full range of motion today, just focus on going really slow. 60 seconds, we go for that moonwalker. Left knee will bend in. And then the left leg will kick out to a straight leg. We're there in 20. Good, in 10. You got that moonwalker, folks, in five. Good, in four, three, two. Now hold at the bottom, just that left knee bends in. Shoot that right butt back and down, just that left leg kicks out. Good, 20 seconds. You're gonna put your right foot on the platform. Left foot out on the carriage for that pistol squat. We're there in eight, pistol lunge, I guess. In six, five, four, three, two. Awesome. Step your right foot back. Close to the edge, I would say, of the platform. Left foot out on the edge of the carriage. And now slide down into that pistol. Booty goes back into a chair pose. Slide it up. 
Just try not to stand all the way up. You're gonna feel that right quad. Beautiful, let's go 60 seconds and we hold it down for those carriage kicks. Ready in eight, meet me at the bottom. Carriage kicks with that left, or not an eight, sorry, you got 30 seconds. Oops, never mind. See, I'm so used to variations. Good. But sometimes it's nice to simplify. Now in 15, we got those carriage kicks. And we're gonna go for that curtsy escalator. In 10. Ready, in five, four, three, two, sit low. Maybe the fingertips to the bars if you need them. Just the left knee bends in, just the left leg kicks out. Booty is back and down into that chair pose. 15 seconds, we got curtsy escalator. Right foot goes over to the left of the carriage, back left foot over to the right of the platform. We're there in eight. Good, in five, four, three, two, awesome. So take your right foot over to the left of that carriage. And then take your back left foot over to the right of the platform. Square your hips and now slide down. You have 90 seconds of full range. And then we have 30 seconds of those curtsy carriage, or sorry, curtsy moon. Really pull that left hip forward, right hip back, 60 seconds away from your curtsy moon walker. Left knee is going to bend in to the right knee hip. Then we're gonna hit that pistol carriage kick combo. And then of course, just isolate the carriage kick. Then we'll go for that floor side lunge and then the side lunge at the back. You got 20 seconds, left knee bends in, left leg kicks out. In five, good, good, everybody. Four, three, two, hold it low. Now bend your left knee into the right knee pit. Kick your left leg out. Amazing, bend that left knee in, kick it out. You're going for the pitzel, pitzel, pistol carriage kick combo in 15. Nice, in eight, right foot steps back behind you in four, three, two, awesome. Woo. All right, right foot back, left foot out, ready? Slide down, we need one carriage kick. Three, two, let's do it, booty down. Bend your left knee and shift your weight back more. Kick your left leg out and then slide up. So butt goes down, chest lifts up. You bend the left knee in, kick the left leg out, push down through the right foot, come up, but not all the way. 60 seconds, we're just going carriage picks. You got it.
Nice, everyone. In 30, at the bottom, for just those carriage kicks. We're there in 20. Good. I'm going to put my peace sign fingers on those bars for this set of carriage kicks. Ready, knee me down there in three, two, let's do it. Chest up, booty back, bend the left knee in, kick it out. Good, I want you to go zero springs for this one. You're gonna be on the floor to the right side from your perspective right now. Left foot, heel down, toe up in the eyelet closest to the springs. You've got your floor side lunge at the front. In four, three, two, awesome. So have your right foot sort of lined up with your front platform there. Left heel down, toes up in the eyelet, okay? Now all you're gonna do is slide down, slide it up. Adjust your feet as needed. Maybe you need to step your right foot out a little bit. But we're on zero spring, so it doesn't really matter necessarily where your right foot is in terms of the pole. Let's go 60 seconds of the slowest full range. It's all about full range today. And then we got your carriage kicks. The left knee will bend in, and then the left leg will kick out. Good. Give me 30 seconds. It is so windy outside, I'm like worried. Power's gonna go out or something. Awesome. <laughs> If it does, finish in that side lunge at the back, right? Good, in 10. Left knee bends in, left leg kicks out for those carriage kicks in five. Beautiful, everybody, in four, three, two, hold it. And now bend your left knee in, kick your left leg out, good. Now you're gonna make sure that you're on one block. We're going to the back for that reverse side lunge. I'll be facing away from you. Right foot will go over to the left of your back platform. And you're just gonna hook your left foot in the eyelet. Since we're pulling the spring, you're gonna to have to hook it. Last two minutes of your right leg and your legs in general. In four, three, two, let's do it. One black. Again, no easy way of getting in this one. Hook your left foot against the eyelet edge. Have your right foot in front of your back platform. Make sure you're staggered. Right foot is ahead of the left foot. And now, slide it down. Booty goes back and down. Slide it up. Really leaning into that working right leg. Give me 60 seconds. And then we got a hold and a pulse. Then we're gonna go to some upper body. We'll come to the front. We'll start with a little chest opener on the right. Then we'll add some springs. We'll go for a chest press and then go back to the chest opener for the left side. Let's go 30 seconds here, then you're gonna hold it at the bottom, and then we're gonna pulse it. In 15. Final 30 seconds of legs, everybody, in eight. 
You got it. Meet me at the bottom in four, three, two, and hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. You got a 20 second pulse in three, two, booty up a little, booty down. Let's go. Two black springs. Let's go to the left side of your machine at the front. Sit up on your heels in a broken toe position for a chest opener on that right side. In five, four, three, two, let's do it. Woo! All right, good job, guys. Two black. I'm sitting in that broken toe position so my toes are curled under and I'm sitting up on my heels, right? Scoot forward easier, scoot back harder. Just the fingertips are around the front edge of the carriage, okay? Just the fingertips. Stand up tall, sit up tall rather, and now just that right hand goes behind your butt and then stops in line with it. Again, scoot up if you need to make it easier. Just a chest opener. Avoid twisting though. You're really initiating this from that right shoulder blade, that right shoulder head, as you take your right hand back and forth. Good, we're gonna hold this back to your challenge point in three, two, hold the hand back behind the butt, hold it. Good, back to full range in three, two, back to full range. Again, right tricep, right lap, right mid back. You really gotta sit up tall with this one. Keep the right forearm and the wrist chill. And just let that right shoulder do the work. Good, we're gonna hold it back one more time on this side. Then we're gonna add a red. And I would honestly say one red is good. If you wanna keep the two black that you've got, you can, but it's quite heavy. We're gonna be doing a chest press. First, you've got a hold in three, two, and hold that right hand back for eight. Good, in four, three, two, let it go. So now you're on one black, or not one black, one red, up to one red, two black. Okay, you might have to test it out, or maybe if you're on one red, two black, you might have to take it down about halfway. Hands are gonna be on your bars, put your knees in the eyelets closest to your springs. And now you're gonna push out into a super person position with your butt up or down. And you're gonna bend your elbows wide to the sides. If your butt is down like mine, it's heavier. If your butt is up, it'll make it a little bit lighter. But just bend your elbows wide to the sides. And then press. Good. Chest stays low. It's a tough one. Elbows go wide to the sides. And you're gonna hold it at that challenge point in three, two, so like halfway down, hold it. Beautiful, back to full range in three, two, let's go, press it out. Woo, this one gets sticky. And then bend it in. And again, if you need to make it lighter, faster, just go like this with your butt, makes it a little bit lighter. Just keep the chest low. We're not bobbing the chest up and down, right? You got another hold coming up in 20. Good, and then we'll hit that chest opener to finish. 
In five, hold it halfway. Four, three, two, hold it halfway for 10. Two black, right side of your machine, chest opener. In five, four, three, two, awesome. Woo! All right, friends, this is it. Last two minutes of clap. Let's finish in that chest opener. Sitting up tall, broken toe position, scoot up, just the fingertips on the edge of the carriage. And now, just the left hand goes behind the butt, and then it stops in line with the butt. Again, initiating from the lap and the tricep on that left side. You got your first hold coming up. In and eight. You hold it back for me in four, three, two, hold that left hand behind your butt, hold it, roll that left shoulder head open. Back to full range in three, two, back to full range. One more hold to take you to the last 10 seconds of class. We did about nine minutes of abs. We did 10, or sorry, eight minutes of obliques. You did 24 minutes of legs, and now you're doing about six minutes of arms here. So nice and balanced. Get ready to hold this back for me. Last 10 seconds. In five, four, three, two. Let's do it for 10. You got it. Squeeze, hold it back. Last five, four, three, two, and done. Amazing work, everybody. I will see you when I see you next. Good job.